I'm going to demonstrate using the MPI exec parallel config for use with the MATLAB distributed computing toolbox, otherwise known as the parallel computing toolbox. MPI exec gives you the ability to overload MATLAB's built-in MPI library used for the underlying communication. The advantages of this is that you can take advantage of the high performance 40 gigabit extremely low latency InfiniBand network on the Flux system. Without this, you would use the 1 gigabit per second or 1 40th of the speed TCP based network that is used for management and file transfers currently. The way the MPI exec system works, it also bundles the entire parent MATLAB process in with your parallel PBS job. As demonstrated in this illustration here, your PBS script when submitted to the cluster is going to spawn a single MATLAB on one of the CPUs you were assigned and put the MATLAB workers on the others assigned. This is as opposed to the traditional MATLAB um, torque config, which is the MATLAB remains running on the login node and all the workers run on the compute nodes. The issue with this system is that should the login node experience memory pressure from another user or need to be restarted due to um, issues from another user, which is much more common on a login node than a compute node, this parent MATLAB would be killed off, thus causing the entire worker pool to be destroyed. This is all documented at the cac.engine.umich.edu slash resources slash software slash MATLAB DCT website. To use the MPI exec config, we need to be able to do two different things. To get started, I'm going to log into the cluster. The first thing I need to do is create the directory in my home directory called MATLAB. This is going to hold a file that's going to overload which MPI library to use. So to do that, I'm going to run make directory tilde slash MATLAB. I'm going to cd to that directory. And I'm going to copy this command off of our website wget mpilibconf.m. If I look inside mpilibconf.m, you will see that it defines a certain format and it loads in a separate MPI library. This MPI library, provided by the MVAPH MPI library, enables the ability for MATLAB to use the InfiniBand network on Flux, which will give us much higher performance. Once that is in place, we can go ahead and submit our MATLAB job. In this case, I'm asking Onflux for 12 cores. And notice the difference here. I use nodes, not procs. This is because of a bug in the current MPI exec. I'm asking for a MATLAB license. Only one, though. This is for the parent MATLAB. And 12 distributed computing toolbox engines that will actually be doing my work. And go ahead and submit that. So my job has started. Uh, I'm doing an interactive job in this case, but it's going to be done in a batch file. And I would just go ahead and run MATLAB. In MATLAB, I'm going to have to specify a small amount of block code. This is going to override the type of parallel configuration I'm going to be using. And basically, you can copy and paste exactly what's available on the website. I'm going to go ahead and put this in line by line. The first creates a scheduler object of type MPI exec. It's going to be filled in with some of the default values, um, and we're going to override some of these to make it work in our setup. You can also change some of these, such as the data location, which is where the MPI workers will write their results. You may wish to change this to a no backup directory. I'm then going to go ahead and override three of the different values. In this case, the submit argument, the MPI exec file name, and the environment set method. All of these values will be the same for all cases. At this point, I can go ahead and create a MATLAB pool. In this case, notice though that I'm using the scheduler object and wrapped it in parentheses. This is as opposed to a parallel config. Parallel configs can only be created using the graphical interface, which is not easily accessible on the cluster. In this case, you can create the same setup with very little effort. You can notice here that the MATLAB pool um, went ahead and started and I'm now connected to 12 labs. At this point, I could use a PAR4, I could uh, do SPMD, I could do multiple things using this parallel pool. When you're done, run MATLAB 
pool close. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at the CAC at flux-support at umich.edu. And again, you can find documentation for this available on the CAC website at cac.engine.umich.edu slash resources slash software slash MATLABDCT. Or you can just search on the CAC website for MATLABDCT.